What is up guys this is Fever back with another video on the Redmi K20 Pro and today in this video again I will be showing you the customizations of Resurrection Remix ROM because that's all about the Resurrection Remix ROM right. So let's just jump into this Resurrection Tools option and here this is how the customization panel looks like. Well if you don't like this new interface of customization you can definitely switch to the old one by going over here and as you can see there should be as you can see there is the toggle classic layout so if you tap over here you will be heading back to the old kind of resurrection remix customization look if you're really into it but i will be trying to use this but let me tell you frankly i don't like this new interface too much but yeah i'll i'm gonna be just showing you from here because that's how you get it by default so first we get status bar section over here if you see the top panels you will get status bar panel system and animation interface and miscellaneous settings so from the status bar you can go into this clock and date section and here we have this enable clock and stuff option then we have the auto hide option for the clock and here you can change the clock position to center and stuff i did change it to the center if you are noticing so you can have the left clock or right clock too so i'll just switch it to the left for the time being and here we have the am pm style you can have it small or normal font size clock seconds date settings and stuff and you can also change the actual font size over here and you can also change the color of the clock so that is very cool you can change the font style over here for the clock itself so that is very cool you get plethora of fonts for the clock on the status bar itself so i don't know how much customizations somebody needs but yes this is what it is if you are really willing to have a huge amount of customizations resurrection remix is back with it and here we have the date style and we have this like normal lowercase uppercase date style then date position you can have it left of time right of time so however you want it then we have this custom like java format you can have like these kind of date settings so if you don't want just to see the date like saturday or something you can have it like the whole date like this august 15 2020 if i set that and as you can see on the status bar it is showing up over there yes it's not a big font but yes it's pretty visible let me just go back we have the network traffic indicator and you can enable it if you want to but i have been using it with the internet speed meter app that is working fine you can customize this network traffic indicator too inside notification ticker we have this status bar option and we have this notification ticker and stuff and ticker and music option is there then we have this battery settings here we have the battery style customization you can customize it to icon portrait circle dotted circle solid etc then we have this battery percentage when charging and stuff battery bar over here you can of course enable the battery bar if you'd like to and you can customize that battery bar to however you want then we have this logo there is the status bar kind of logo you can have any custom logo over here then we have the system icons and from here you can enable the vaulty icons and stuff well these vaulty icon patterns are not pretty much specified but yeah you can have to change it as you can see it says icon 2 3 it does not sh like show you in like other rounds you can see which is the oxygen is kind of vaulty icon and stuff here we do not have that option at least right now i think it will be added in future then we have the show 4g icon then old signal style bluetooth battery status is there and that is working fine notification count you can enable it then we have this breathing missed call alert and breathing voicemail breathing sms alert so these things are there for the system icons over here there is the breathing notifications if you want that then inside carrier level we have this carrier level on lock screen only status bar only lock screen and status bar both you can have them both and here we have the font style for that carrier label itself so that is amazing and we have the colors changing option for the carrier label and font size for that too if you're too proud about your carrier label or something you can use that here we have the status bar settings and there is the like weather kind of thing and here you can have this show temperature with scale then other things i'll select this show temperature with scale and here we have the color of that then font size and stuff so right now as you can see the temperature has appeared over there on the top if you are noticing let me show you over here like this and as you can see shows the temperature the date the time everything you do not have to like go anywhere you can see everything from on the street is bar so that is very cool inside preference we have this service settings and stuff you can customize it as like however you want it and here we have the status bar gesture so brightness control by just sliding a finger on the status bar this feature i have always liked and this is still there so i am just liking it more 
I use this feature on a daily basis. If you guys have been following me, you should know that I have been liking this feature a lot. And double tap to sleep on the status bar is there, so that is not a problem. Let me just unlock the status bar tuner. We have the headset blue to that such icons. And this what I like over here that in other ROMs, I think it shows only the names over here. But here on the left, if you are noticing, it shows all the icons which is which. So that is very cool. As you can see, even we have this view Wi-Fi icon. So that is very cool, but it did not appear for me at least right now. Let me go back panel section. Then we have this quick settings and here we have the quick setting column and row numbers. So you can customize the column and row of course from here. We have the quick pull down from right and left, but we do not have the always option, but I'm fine with it. So you can either do it from the right or from the left. You cannot do it from like anywhere, I guess. Then show tiles title are there, then vibrate on toggle touch and stuff is there. Show expanded row arrow is there, then background blur is there. So let me show you. If you're pulling down the notification panel and as you can see, the background has been blurred. So you can customize that blur from here to the intensity of it. Then we have the quick setting tile animation and like flip and rotate for the quick toggle animation is there. Replace clear all text with a new button. So this is the like small clear all thing over here which appears you can enable that if you want to then we have the icon color customization for that particular clear all icon then we have the system info and stuff then this settings icon rgb mode is there this is i don't know what it is this says enable rgb mode on quick setting background okay oh my god look at this what am i looking at what this is crazy I don't know why would somebody use this but yeah we have full on RGB glory over here. We also have this duration of this animation so let me just increase this duration let's see what happens. Okay so I think it stays in one particular color for long or something. Let me reduce it to one second. Holy sh look at that. Isn't that crazy? I know somebody won't use this feature on a daily basis but this is just cool. Then we have this use gradient backgrounds and stuff on the quick settings. Let me enable that and see. Okay so if you're noticing the bottom part over here I think it appeared. So that is looking very cool over here. Here on the quick setting panel on the bottom you will see a gradient over here looking very cool. I'll use this. Then we have this tint tiles to gradient let me enable that and I hope it will yeah. Right now, as you can see, the quick toggles has changed into the gradient and stuff, two-toned colors. So that is looking very cool. Then we have the data usage in quick setting header and stuff. You can enable that. Quick setting tile icon, bright, dark, etc. is there. I don't know what it is. Then we have the quick setting clock option. Then color option is there. Then use default colors option is there. Battery percentage, battery location stuff. Then we have the battery estimates, brightness slider and stuff is there. Then auto brightness and stuff is there. Quick setting footer text is there. Let me go back we have the header customization then here we have the transparent header settings then you can enable or disable custom images from here of course then we have this notification headers and stuff so all the header customization are present inside here inside recents we have this slim recents if you want to use that you can then we have this volume panel and stuff and from here i have changed it to show left you can also have it on the right side if you want to of course it is by default on the right so you can use it like that and i have changed the volume panel time out to six seconds you can have a default too if you want that then you can enable ring voice bluetooth etc volume from here then inside systems we have the accent color picker and from here things get a lot more interesting because you can choose the accent color from here as you'd like and then you can separately choose a gradient color from here so that is very cool you can reset it if you want to and then match gradient and accent colors and stuff is there let me go back we have this buttons navigation gestures and here we have the navigation bar system navigation gesture is there again arrow keys is there this is for like some kind of cursor kind of thing then we have power button end call option then screen of power button toggle torch is there this is working totally fine automatically turn off torch option is there then we have swap keys playback control and stuff then answer key etc arrow animation is there so long swipe type etc option is there haptic feedback you can have with this like back gesture and stuff but i have disabled that let me go back here we have the power dialog and here we have the opacity control for the power menu i guess then we have the power menu animation to like these many options you can change it 
then we have the power button and stuff okay so power off you can just disable that for some reason if you don't power off at all so you just like don't have that power off option from over here so that is very cool here we have the enable advanced restart option so advanced reboot again is there so you can just tap on advanced and you can directly reboot to recovery and fast boot from here and you do have the option to normally restart and restart just the system ui then we have screenshot screen record in the power menu flashlight etc you can enable that power menu and lock screen you can disable that from here inside parts we have this lock screen weather and stuff we have the system profile section and then charging sound and stuff is there again smart pixels is there you can enable that if you want to then there is the burn in protection too and it does work let me go back we have this rounded corner settings if you want to have some like status bar padding and stuff then display like notch settings is there too if you want to like have that let me go into the sound settings here we have the volume steps and ringtone audio focus mode is there you should not worry about that then we have the suspend action and stuff and here we have the dpi changing option so you can do that then time in state system ui tuner is there so you can have the status bar icons and stuff again over here then quick setting stuff over here so a lot of things are there inside this part settings inside vibrations we have the in call vibration and stuff you can enable that if you want to touch vibration vibrate for calls and stuff is there again and then we have the ringtone vibration pattern changing option over here and notification vibration intensity you can change it i guess well i'm tapping it, it does not do anything so that's how it is let me go back we have the gesture anywhere feature you can add like custom gestures over here to like do a simple function now let me go into the pulse settings here we have the show pulse option this is for like the navigation bar pulse i guess so let me go back here we have the battery op optimization thing and sensor block part package is there and stuff like that then you can have the like part app kind of battery optimization settings inside animations we have this like crt scale color fade simple fade etc options let me scroll down we have the system animations and stuff then we have this like transition disabling option activity open animation and the whole ui animation is here and you can also change the scrolling cache from here then inside toast option we have the toast icon then toast animation and stuff those kind of things are there inside interface we have the fingerprint settings so here we have the fingerprint icon customization so from here you can have these many fingerprint icons there is two restriction remix icons one is this one which i have been using the red and white one is black and red there is some kind of gradient on this particular icon but this white one looks cool in my opinion let me go back we have this fod pressed state behavior you can change it to these many options this is the light which emits from the fingerprint scanner so you can change that but i have been using with the default one which is cyan shadow alt i guess let me scroll down we have this fod recognizing animation so it does the animation everywhere whenever you are like using the fingerprint scanner and you can have the animation to like allow you can allow the animation to like authenticate on all screens so that is very cool and you can also change the animation of course then we have the use wallpaper color for the fingerprint on display icon and we have this disable night light when showing fingerprint on display so that is very cool that like if, if it doesn't work for you the night light then you can like have this feature turned on then we have this fingerprint authentication vibration and error vibration etc but no always unlock with the fingerprint scanner at least then inside lock screen we have the charging animation and stuff you can have these and then we have the battery info then ambient option is there we have this force brightness values and stuff and here we have the double tap for ambient display and stuff like that let me go back we have the clock style for the lock screen and you can change this clock style to however you want i did not change it yet but you can change and change the whole look of your always on display or the lock screen display then we have the double tap to sleep on the lock screen quick settings on the lock screen music visualizer and stuff lock icon is there then lock screen timeout of course you can change the lock screen timeout from this particular settings it is not there in the display settings but you can change it from here let me scroll down we have the custom notification icon over here so i will enable that i guess then we have the display media cover art and stuff then media artwork blur level you can customize that let me go back we have the edge lighting settings well i have enabled that and this should work fine as you can see you can customize it of course you can change the colors from here you can change the duration and count and the light width and stuff like that from here then we have the heads up animation you can disable heads up from here and you can also enable and customize it as well inside dashboard we have some dashboard kind of customization and stuff 
then we have this display size customization if you see the font is too small or too big for you you can customize that then we have the font size restriction themes option is there so again we have this kind of accent picker and stuff then preference style this is the like sweet style which is the toggle style you can change it to material design to one plus etc then we have this quick setting toggle style etc so status bar icon and stuff is there again status bar height you can customize that so everything is there but it is there like a little bit hidden over here inside interface you can customize everything from this restriction remix tool which you find in most drums this is there but it is like a huge amount of customizations over here now here we have the gaming mode and stuff so you can enable that and then we have the music visualizer and we have this lava lamp kind of settings and inside the misc settings we have this alert slider notification then force expanded notification and stuff like that disable force close notification or something then screenshot delay option is there then we have the screenshot type changing option to take full screenshot or via volume keys so those things are there and here we have the screenshot shutter sound okay so the shutter sound is actually there i missed that in the previous video right now let me just take it okay so right now it does not do uh, like that kind of sound and by the way this three finger screenshot gesture is there this is the oxygenoise kind of screenshot gesture which does have share edit and like the scrolling kind of feature and the delete option then we have this show assistant handles and stuff then show nav bar and then blink flashlight for incoming calls is there then show on aod while charging i don't know what it is okay so this is the charging thing i guess then we have the wake up on plug disabling option toggle signature spoofing stuff is there let me go back to this miscellaneous settings well there are two miscellaneous one is inside interface as you can see this is the miscellaneous and inside over here we have another miscellaneous settings from where you get the weather charging and like the update settings okay so this is a like quick toggle to toggle to the classic view of the like customization panel so if you are customizing a lot i would suggest you that you switch to the customization panel that is how you will see it a lot better i guess so that is all the customizations present on this rom let me know in the comments how do you feel about the customizations of reselection remix rom again thank you so much for watching this video guys give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel if you have not yet and i wish you all a very happy independence day and let me know in the comments that if you are really excited about resurrection remix or not this is tito from kerry and tech signing off for today again and i'll catch you guys in the next one bye bye now